Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome to Series 11 of Transport Fever 2. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So we are, oh, well, there's actually people all of a sudden. Wow, I was beginning to wonder if there's ever going to be any sort of traffic or anything here. Uh, this is uh, one of our towns here, Virgil's Point. As you can see, it's right on the point where these rivers empty out into... Uh, the something i don't know what they're emptying out into but it's water <laughs> sea lake whatever but that's virgil's point which as you can see is a central hub for a lot of industry now this map i think is going to be very different and i hope it's going to be a very interesting different challenge uh, as you can see, a lot of our industries are right here. We've got fuel, we've got the sawmill, we've got plastic, we've got machines and and uh, uh, um, consumer products all right here. Then up each fork of the river is where most of our resources. We've got a lot of resources along in here too, a lot of wood, some oil over here. Uh, then all our farms are up here and along here. And they're pretty much all going in here to uh, Lakeville, just right on the lake here, aptly named. And uh, you can see we got a tool factory here. We've also got a, a food factory right there, and a, or a food plant right there, and a food plant right there. We've also got another sawmill up here, and a couple of uh, a couple of uh, lumber camps off in the uh, forests. Then on the other side, we've got Fork, right at this fork in the river. Growler remembers Fork. Growler used to live there. You used to live in Fork? Yep, went to school here. Got Growler, don't. Good old Fork, you. God damn it. <laughs> Growler. <laughs> yep, Growler's on that alma mater. Somehow I don't think you ever went to university, Growler. But, you know what, if you did, I imagine a university called Fork U would exactly be the university you would go to. Uh, you can see we've got a construction supplies company up here, another one down here, and our steel plants are right here. And off in here we've got stone, coal, uh, iron, more iron, some oil down here, more oil. Where is, oh there's more iron there, where's more coal? Oh, here. Yeah, here it is. There's more coal. Knew there was more coal around here somewhere. Uh, and then down here, we've got one off to the side. Fullerton is uh, is our oil refinery town. So you can see this is where we're going to be bringing in oil. And most of the oil seems to be right around this area, so that's pretty good. Some of it is a good distance away. I did make this map smaller than previous maps. Um... I was the last couple of maps, I think, were the extra large ones. And I'm hoping maybe we can ease off a little on the lag. <laughs> um, but you're maybe wondering, why only four towns? Well, actually, see, here's a little difference. Now, this is a USA map, though I think I may have some European mods on here. They weren't tagged as European mods, so I didn't catch them when I was removing uh, the European mods. Um... But this is all sort of the resource gathering uh, and processing here. But the whole point of this map here is we've got one big sort of New York-esque city here on an island just off the coast. And we've got to get resources here. You can see we don't produce anything in this city. Uh, and it is huge. All these other cities are all, all small villages. Um, but this is one huge city, uh, divided up into three sections. Central City here, Redstone here, and uh, Port St. Lucie? Yeah, I guess Lucie. Port St. Lucie here. And pretty much all resources are demanded here. Well, they're all demanded because I've got that mod on. But uh, the, the main requirement for each city is, is pretty, demanded, pretty divided up. And I have a feeling getting people and resources around this humongous city is going to be a challenge in and of itself so that should be interesting obviously we're going to end up having to do shipping maybe late in the game we can actually run a bridge across here and put a train station somewhere but it's going to be shipping for a long time anyways let's go ahead and figure out where we want to start here um 
I don't think starting with oil is a good idea. Uh, even though we certainly could, uh, the we would have to run a pretty decently long train line, or we could put a we could put a dock over here and bring oil from there. That would be a fairly easy one. Oh, this one's not too far from the water either. We could probably do a dock on that. Um, but it would also be a lot of slow shipping, and that I think would give us a really slow start. We are going to start here. Um, well, I suppose we could start with sawmills here if we wanted to, but I don't think I don't think that's a way to go either. Uh, especially since our tool factory is up there, not down here. So we've got food. We got building splice here. This would be an easy start. We could just run wagons across the bridge here. Um, or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's not the resource. We get, we'd have to run a train from there down to here. Um, then we could run wagons into town. We could put a train there, train across the river too, but we could just do wagons across town and then put a port in and be able to ship stuff around that way. Uh, or we could start with food over here. And I sort of think that it's going to be a good idea. Actually, this I think is going to be our better place to start because we've got the tool factory here as well as these food factories. So we could sort of double up. We can use this food factory and start with that. We get a farm right here and a farm right here we can bring food down into, or grain down to. Um, hmm. Wagons are so slow. I don't really want to start with wagons. Let's go ahead and let's run a train route from here all the way down to here. Uh, I think we'll think go on this side. So we'll bring grain from here to here to get food, over to here to deliver it. Um, actually, uh, if we're going to have to ship stuff via boat, I really don't want to have to no, you know what? Let's start with wagons. We'll go from here to here. We'll put a dock right here. We can send a boat up to here and send boat downriver too. So we'll do that. All right. So first things first, let's get a dock in here. I'm going to spend the money early on and get the large one. I'm going to brush a bug off my back. <laughs> I don't know what the little bugs are. I've noticed them the last few days. This is an old house. Bugs tend to get in one way or another. All right, I think that works. I mean, it looks they look like little ladybugs, except they're not red. We had a really bad ladybug infestation a few years ago. Do we really want to hear about your ladybug infestation? Probably not. You got a good point, Growler. We'll we'll skip the ladybug infestation. Thank God. <laughs> oh, you're so cruel, Growler. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Go to thirty. We'll have just one. I'll leave us the second one available just in case we find we need it for some reason. Okay, that looks good, and we will, um, let's just put a thing on here. Uh, I'm, this is mainly going to be dropping off. We're not going to be having anything stocking up here, so I don't think we need to, don't worry about that. Okay, so we got in on both sides there and we'll go ahead and put one down here let's put it right here seems like a good spot okay we'll get this started oh we're gonna need a 
and this is let's do south lakeville not cakeville far farm okay that's good um and we will i guess we'll put the shed right here I'd rather have it in a more central location so I didn't need to do multiple sheds, but I don't really feel like waiting 30 minutes for them to get anywhere. Okay, and we'll just do 10 of them. I don't like doing wagons on this stuff. I mean, I will do it sometimes, but it, when later on when you get trucks, it works out pretty well. But with wagons, it just takes them so long to get anywhere. All right, now let's put a dock down here at Lakeville. We gotta figure out where we're gonna put a dock in Lakeville. Uh, let's look at where we're delivering stuff to. Maybe we can save ourselves. We want it someplace right here in the middle because here's our commercial area, here's our industrial area. And food is going to the commercial area. Okay. That's going to stick out in the river a ways. Well, there's nothing... I don't know. We might have stuff going upriver later on or coming down from upriver. Uh, I just want to line this up with the... guess that's as good as we're going to do right there. Uh, let's let these guys, let's speed this up. Let these guys do their thing for a little bit. We'll get a little food going too there. It's too bad the closest bridge is cleared on here. If we put another bridge in, what would it cost me to... And, of course, I'm going to have to make it high enough to get over all this stuff. Let's see. Come back to here. Here. Let's try making it that high and going across. Well, that does make it across. 200,000. Let's do it. just do that and that can be earth there we go and then this we'll just reroute this road further north here and we can just come straight down off from this how's that look I'd say that's good enough. And then we'll run this to here. And then this one up to here. Okay, so those roads are reconnected. Now we can actually do this farm too. Although why I did that right now, I guess we're going to need to soon enough. Let's go ahead and get this here and get it going. I'll put it at this end. Okay. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put that second platform in. There we go. Okay, Lakeville, I get it. I did this wrong. Uh, Lakeville Farm, West Riverbank, Trucking. Lakeville Farm, 
East Riverbank Trucking. Okay. And we'll put 10 on that one too. There. <clears throat> Might redo the routing on this, make you use this other entrance here in order to uh, keep these guys from running into each other. Let's put, I guess we're going to put a dock right around here somewhere. Or up, not a dock, a uh, shipyard, whatever it is. Whatever it's supposed to be called. There we go. Okay. And I didn't set up that route yet. Okay, Lakeville Food Barge. And we will put one small boat on that. We don't have a large one anyways. Not yet. We will soon enough. All right. So now we can actually deliver food here. How are we doing? We still got almost a million. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's see where things are down in here in Virgil's Point. At least you can remember the name of this place. Yeah. I had a hard time remembering the name of the other the names of the other towns. Okay, I think we're going to put the port over here. I think right down here seems like the wisest place. I might end up putting a dock on both sides. You know, put one over on this side for the other river. That might be the smartest way to do things. I don't know. We will see how it goes. Okay. Are you connect? No, you didn't connect to the street. Okay, well, fine. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> um... Can't afford pretty much anything there. Okay, we're just going to have to wait and earn some money, I guess. I mean, I could take out a loan for it, but let's let this get primed first. And this, I want you to wait here until you're full. Technically, I want the wagons to wait until they're full, too, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Why are you not doing anything? Why is he not producing any food? If he's not going to produce any food, for some bizarre reason, I'll just switch them over to this one. He's producing food just very slowly. Okay, I did end up pulling all the wagons off from this one. It just wasn't producing much. And putting them onto here, which, you know, has plenty of food. We're getting about 72% of it out. I could probably add another 5 or 10 wagons on there. Um, but for now, this is okay. We're getting close to maximum production on this, but we're not able to ship all of it. So we really need to go ahead and... Borrow some more money. And we'll come down here and try again to place a dock down here somewhere. Okay, if I connect there, it's going to reach most of it. I can't connect there. There's just no way. I can't touch it. See, if I could connect there, that would be great, but that's not going to happen. I think my best bet is probably going to be putting it right down here somewhere. Because I think, you know, we connect there, we'll get most everything. If 
I do that. Oh, no, outside of navigable waters. All right, let's put this down about here. And then we'll grab some road. And just run it down to connect to it. There. Now, I think we really don't need to run two barges here. Because this one just doesn't have enough. Oh. Lakeville. We'll make that Lakeville port there. Uh, and I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so he goes there, and then he's going to come back here. Oops, nope. Got that out of order. And he's going to come back here, pick up food, and come down here and deliver food to them. And he does need to sit and wait until full, if possible. Okay, so let's look at this again real quick. Um... Get some food meat over here we're not reaching sort of sucks we don't really have any place to put a delivery point either um do i have any way i could do some oop that's the wrong thing <laughs> uh all we've got is these if i wanted to do one of these i would have to take out that building there so I can put it right here. Why it thinks I need to take out the one across the road, I don't know. Okay. No, don't take out the one across the road. Just this one. Why do you want to take out the one across the road? <laughs> I don't get it. All right. We're down to 300 some odd thousand again. Let's get five more and put them on here. And that should max out this. Oh, actually we were already maxed. Whoops. Well, it might be okay. That's what you get for going on old data. I can't imagine why you'd be stuck with old data. Was that an age joke, Growler? Because I'm pretty sure you're older than me. Yeah, whatever. I'm a dwarf. We live longer. Growler's still in his prime. Yeah. Prime something. I don't know what. Dog muck. Well-timed, Lance. Okay, yeah, we're clearing this out pretty good now. Those extra five may have been a mistake. We're maxing this out. If we could just get enough food being shipped, then we'd be in good shape. All right, let's take a look at our finances real quick. So we got room for four million more in uh, stuff. We could put a dock right here and a dock up here at the sawmill and then bring wood in. That's a long wagon trip, though. We could do it. We've spent six million doing what we're doing now, but we don't need to put in a new dock here. Um, ooh. 
yeah, I think I'm going to end up having to redo things. Hopefully we'll start earning some money here because we're just losing money at the moment. <laughs> we aren't shipping enough to make it worth our while. All right, we're just going to have to let this run for a while and see how it goes. But I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. We'll slow this down and ride along with one of our wagons. Hello, horsies. Don't talk to the horses while they're working. Fine, brawler. <clears throat> Alright, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, first video of our new series. If you did, please uh, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.